Ben, <laughs> you're such an amazing person. And um, the Lord loves you so very much. You are so, 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 so loved by the Father. And it's amazing the very kind of person that you are, uh, the dimension of such a hardworking. And um, yeah, you're always focused uh, on what has been said before you. And to God be the glory because you're unique <laughs> in personality. And isn't it amazing why you always have people always around you because they want to be around you because of the love that you are. That is the dimension of the love of the Father. Isn't it amazing how you manifest that love? <laughs> Even some people don't understand why you are loved so much. And it's it's just the glory of the Lord. And I celebrate. Yes, I do. I do totally celebrate the Lord for you. And um, I just wanted to share this word uh, uh, with you, Ben, because... You're such in a glorious dimension. The Bible declares, it says, your hour has come for you to be glorified. And I want you to understand this principle that when the glory of the Lord has risen upon you, there is acceleration that happens all around you. And that acceleration, it's a place where being intentional, asking what manner of acceleration is upon me so that I can partner with that acceleration to walk in for full fulfillment of what has been laid before me. Because for you, you know, uh, for a long time coming, you have been believing the Lord uh, for promotion in where you are at your place of work. Yes, you have been believing the Lord uh, for promotion. And it has always, yeah, it has always come, but not in, you know, not quickly as you would have wanted it to come. You know, you've had a lot of, <laughs> you know, when they have that, uh, what do they call it at the place of work, uh, uh, where you have to sit down and they basically, uh, uh, they basically check uh, your progress and things like that. And it is a place where you've done that many a time and, you know, your scores are absolutely amazing, but yet you've always wondered why does the promotion emotional reflect that in which I have done with these bosses. But you have to understand that the timing of the Lord is absolutely beautiful because sometimes we set our minds on the things that are before us. But the Lord, what he is doing behind the scene is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Can I give you a revelation of, um, uh, of a story in the Bible? you know, of this wonderful man called David. Yeah. You know, David was anointed, but isn't it amazing that when, you know, you would have thought being anointed, he would have been the king of Israel straight away because with Saul, Saul was not given one kingdom. He was not given one city. He was not given one clan. He was given the whole of the kingdom. <laughs> Can you see that in his, uh, yeah, he was given the whole of the kingdom. But it's a place where, you know, the Lord in refining who? In refining David, he first gave him, you know, the very kingdom of Judah. You know, he was reigning over Judah. And that was the Lord, you know, he was taking him through a training process. So there can be many opportunities for you to rise above. Like you can see with David, he had many opportunities to rise into the throne that has already been ordained for him. But he did not go before his time. He took his time with it, yeah. Because Saul was handed over to him many a time, but he chose to allow God himself to what? To promote him. Do you see that? So I want to speak to you, Ben, because there are promotions that have been offered to you or going to be offered to you in this hour. You have to be careful of them yes before you have to be intentional taking it to the lord because these promotions they have hidden agendas behind it i'm not i want to share this from the perspective of a, a marriage union you know and it's it's about the spiritual context i don't want you to look at it like you know i'm talking about marriage no i'm actually talking about your place of work so it's a place but i want you to understand from the what from the marriage perspective because i want to share my own story with you you know a, a story of my journey in times past to help you to understand you know because i've shared on this channel many a time the union that i was in before and where you know 
the, the the mother of the person, you know, they pretended like they liked me and things like that. And they said, yeah, you know, you can marry that person, not realizing that there was an agenda behind it. You know, just in recent times, the Lord began to, you know, we're still going through that healing process. <laughs> yeah, we're still going through it. You know, it's just a place where the Lord began to show me the dimension of the father of this person. Because I believe the father is in an yeah he's an is in an occult yeah the father is in a cult so I believe in the process of that they were demanding from the father you know a sacrifice basically yeah they were demanding a sacrifice so what did the father of this person who was close to me what did they do you know they began to look for sins in my life they thought perhaps I had basically. Uh, uh, being intimate with the daughter before I got married, that backfired because, you know, I didn't base, I didn't choose immorality. I chose to be, you know, pure before it all. But then the father decided to offer me up as a sacrifice. Can you see that? Yeah, that was what the father did. You know, they all pretended that they liked me. They all pretended they were giving the daughter away, not realizing that, you know, the father had an agenda. It was either to sacrifice someone in his family or whatever it is. I don't know what the dimension of it is, but he chose the sacrifice because he didn't want to give up his family. He decided to use me <laughs> because I'm an outsider, obviously, to basically offer a sacrifice instead. Do you see that dimension? But it all backfired. Yeah, because to the glory of God, it backfired. The Lord did not allow that to happen. So you can begin to understand. This is why I said that sometimes some people will offer you things. They will allow things. But the agenda behind it was absolutely what? It's absolutely impure. So you can see he wants his family to live, but he wanted me to die. The same thing with the mother. She wants her own family to live. She wants to become rich and she wanted me dead. So you can see that dimension of the motives behind this family entirely. So this is the same dimension that is happening at your place of work, that the promotion that they're offering you. Yeah, it might seem good. The, everything inside might seem so you know, intact. It might seem like, yep, they are putting things together for you. They are making things to look so good. You know, the salary package and all of those things, the incentives of it, they might look good. But there is a motive behind it. But he's saying to you, be sober and be vigilant. So I need you to come to me, take it before the Lord in this hour and pray concerning it. Do you see that in itself? Because the Bible tells us in the book of Jude chapter one, he said, he who is able to keep you from what? From stumbling. Because you can see with Saul, all Saul was trying to do was to pull David out so that he can kill him. So this is the reason for the promotion. Hence why I shared the story, my story that, you know, the father and the mother, they were trying to get me out. You know, they, just like Cain, <laughs> you know, the Bible, Cain, Cain was saying, hey, Abel, let's go to the field. And all he was trying to do with Abel was to kill him. Didn't he kill him? He killed him in the end. And that is why God said what? The blood of your brother is crying out to me. So you can see the same thing with this family. They basically accepted because they wanted me dead. So it is in a place he's saying to you. So I'm not saying it's in a dimension of death, but that if you accept that promotion, it can lead to a death in terms of losses at the same time, finances, you know, and opportunities and things like that. But it's helping you to understand that death has already been swallowed up in triumphant victory. You will not lose anything because the Bible declares in the book of Daniel chapter six, he was appointed so that the king might not suffer loss. So it's a place where you have to understand that, you know, your promotion does not come from the East or from the West. It comes from the Lord directly. So you can see that the promotion that you're going to be given will have attachments to it. But the one the Lord is intending to give you will have no attachment to it. It will be absolutely beautiful and amazingly glorious. Can you see that in itself? Because they will offer it to you because of your hard work, not because there is something that is going to be, you know, you have to do this and we'll promote you for it. No, not at all. That's the will of the Father is to what? It says promotion does not come from the east, from the west, but from the Lord himself. So in this hour, whatever offer or promotion is being given to you, please, I beseech you by the loving blessing of the Father, take it to the Lord. Yes, I know you, we can, you know, because we might have been waiting for things for so long, it's easy to accept things so quickly because it might look good. But not everything that is good is God. Can I repeat that? Not everything that is good is God, but everything that is God is good. <laughs> everything that is God is good, but not everything that is good 
is God. So this is where he's helping you to understand for the promotion that is going to be set before you, the opportunities that is going to be presented before you, be sure to ask the Lord. He says, you know, when you ask, you do not receive. And why do you not receive? Because you ask with the wrong motive. So don't go to the Father and say, hey, you know, Father, they've given me this. Thank you so much. You know, I receive it. To God be the glory. But be sure to ask ask the Lord because the devil too promotes his agents. <laughs> he does. <laughs> can you see that? Because if you accept it, to get out of it can be ultimately difficult. So you can see that is why he wants us ahead of time. Amen. So I love you very much, Ben, because you are such an amazing man and the Lord loves you. And you have to understand the Bible says he who digs a pit will fall into it themselves. So whatever pits that they have dug to basically bring you to ensnare you, they will fall into it themselves. So this is the liberty that is being given to you so that you're not yoked against slavery. That is why Christ has come to set you free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you, Ben. You are amazing. I bless you with life. And when that time comes, I declare the love of the Father over you, the promotion of the Lord over you. I bless you with a promotion from the Lord, you know, with no attachments, but absolutely with the kind of, you know, with the work that you have done will speak for you because the Bible says your gift will make room for you. So I declare that promotion from the Lord to manifest over your life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Because the Bible declares in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 1, and David was eventually made the king of all of Israel after Saul died. Can you see? He could have taken advantage and then got on the throne a lot quicker, but he waited on the Lord. So this is the dimension of you. You see that? <laughs> to God be the glory. I love you, Ben. Stay blessed. You're the blessedness of the Father. In Jesus' name. Amen.